good day to you. And welcome to another chapter of In My Car With My Cigar. I'm enjoying a ghost today. Ghost by Gurkha. It's an interesting cigar. It's about six inches. Brazilian wrapper. I have a buddy we call JR. And he likes that Brazilian wrapper. I've noticed that in some of his blends. It has a... Uh, I believe it's a Dominican Carrillo binder and Dominican collaboration on the filler. It's just a good cigar. It kind of is, rem it, in a way, it's reminiscent of the Triple Maduro before it got so soft these days. So I'm going to prime this cigar, and I'm going to do, before I go into my In My Car series this week, I want to dispel some of the myths about cigars. Facebook is a wonderful tool and it has provided people with an outlet and an opportunity that would otherwise be shy and placed in a group situation might be discouraged and shouted down because of two major things. One is that that is not the person that they are and number two the people that are in the grouping probably know that. So people get to be taller than what they are, stronger than what they are, better than what they are, behind the anonymity of Facebook. So I want to dispel a myth, for instance, right now. And the myth is I'm videotaping, son. I'll get you in a second. The, the, the unfortunate thing is people have the idea that they know about these things. i give you an example. The lighting of the cigar. The cigar has to be primed first. You can't just light it right off. So you lighten those coals. You give them kind of a coal look like if you, as if you're barbecuing. After which time, you pull, blow out, pull, blow out, until you get the whole area, the circumference done. Never really allowing the flame to touch the cigar but more or less through your pulling, you pull the heat toward it. Never at the same time burning the outer skin of the toe because that's where your flavor comes from. That's something. Clip only what you need. There is a cap on the top of every cigar and it tells you just how much you can take off before you put your cigar in a situation where it will be unraveled another little tidbit this is the head that's the toe when you're first priming and checking out your cigar it's protocol to once clipping it you do the dry pull and get a sense of the taste not the actual flavor of the cigar but the taste and you want to also check the draw to make sure it's enough it's open so that you can pull through the next thing you do after cutting, lighting, you take a good pull. And early on is the best time to do this, but you blow the smoke out of your nose. In fact, some of you 10, 20 year veterans no, I'm not a 10, 20 year veteran. That's how you taste a cigar. So there are people that say, well, I don't do that. What I do is this. That's not the only way to taste a cigar. That's Facebook talking. That's let me hide over here. 
with what I don't know about and make an argument that I can't clearly defend. That's how you taste a cigar. That's how you come up with the oak, the spice, and the various other earthy, very good. And that's how you will hear and understand clearly what I mean about this cigar, vaguely familiar to the original Triple Maduro before Davidoff got a hold of the company. So this turned into a cigar tasting event. It turned into a cigar moment. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'm gonna do my, or maybe I'm enjoying this so much. Like this video, share this video, like and share. And I'm gonna see you soon. Check out all my videos on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. Share with friends that don't have Facebook. I'm on Facebook. You can find me, Arnold Mr. Dad Tate. Thank you so much. Bye now.